for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to achieve your front and back length perfectly. In case, assuming you have a client who sent a measurement to you, okay, and you notice that in your measurement you don't have um, a chest, uh, you don't have your half length, uh, that which is front length for front, and you don't have it for back. So this is how you are going to achieve this. So this uh, particular tutorial is for you. So if you look at what I have here, this is a measurement that is sent. And this measurement, we have the bust, we have the under bust, we have a shoulder line, we have bust point, we have under bust point line, bust to bust, and the full length of the dress. But there is no half length. So this is the perfect way to go about your true waist or half length uh, drafting. So this particular class, I'm going to start from the beginning to analyze this um, uh, dress, to analyze this class. So you see what to do when you are making uh, dresses without half length, how to achieve the half length. So I will just make my border lines, which is the starting point for every tutorial we have on this channel. Okay, so like I said, the half length serves as a guide for you. So you just need to be patient and make it. So at the end of the day, you have a wonderful uh, design. So this is your shoulder. Okay, you have to identify the shoulder and identify the center front. So I'm going to take the vertical measurements now. So for the vertical measurements, we have the chest line, we have the bust point line, we have the under bust and the half length. We have four vertical measurements. So if you look at what, what I have here, I have the bust point, I have the under bust. I don't have chest line, I don't have a uh, front length. So for you to get your chest line, chest line is divided by is your bust. We have our bust at 38. 38 divided by 6 plus 1.5 will give you your chest line, which is 7.8. So now I will want to draft to get my 7.8. I'm going to first draft my neckline. To impute my neckline, which is the front neckline, this is another thing you need to do. For uh, most of the times, you see most people they go by three by three, okay? So the three by three is not standard because we have people on the plus size, we have people on the smaller size. So to get your perfect natural neckline, this is what you do. I will also come with this same bust, okay? So you have a lot to work with your bust. Bust is 38 here, divide by 12 will give us 3.1. So I'll just go into my neckline and I'm going to use the exact measurement I got in my measurement parameter. So the 3.1, I'll measure it, this is 3.25, half of it will give you 3.1, that is on your tape measure. So after 3.25, before 3.25, the next one will serve as your 3.1. So once you have it like that, you know you are what we are working on the actual, okay? Not on gaze work. So to get your neckline perfectly, this is what I do. I'll mark the 3.1 again. And I'm going to follow this line and mark the 3.1 again. Okay. So wherever it meets, that is where I'm going to draw square up my line. So I'm going to square up my line. I'm just taking my time to show you this. So once I've done, I'll use my pattern ruler and connect anywhere it touches this line to this line becomes your neckline. So the shoulder we are working is 15. 15 divided by 2 will give you 7.5. So at the 7.5, I'm going to step down by 1 inch because the human shoulder is not as um as straight as that this other shoulder line so we slant it down so here comes the chest line which we calculated earlier which gave us 7.8 so i'll just come in on that uh, shoulder drop of one inch and i'm going to measure my 7.8 so 7.8 is after seven point 
seven five. The next line will be your seven point eight. Okay, so I will add up this to have a uh, seven eight point eight. So to make a straight line, I'll come back and I'll make my eight point eight. Okay, so you need to know how to read your pattern ruler. Uh, sorry, your tape measurements very well, so you'll be able to have this done accordingly. So now, here is my chased line. Okay. Alright, so we are working with the exact. That is why we are using exactly what we calculated. So it fits your, the person you are making the dress for. So here, I will mark my 7.5, which is my shoulder, once again. So I'll be able to determine my armhole. So here is my armhole. And I'm going to get the midline of my armhole. So the midline of my armhole, I'll simply do this. And this is the midline. So we normally go in by 0 0.75. This is 0 0.75 to connect the armhole. You take it here because the armhole for the front is deeper. Okay, so still on, on the vertical lines. So for the vertical lines, you can see how we got 7.5, uh, sorry, 7.8, which we added one inch to give us 8.8, .8, which is our chest line. So like I earlier said, we have bust point as one inch, uh, sorry, 10 inches. And we have from the... From the measurement parameter, we have under bust as 14.5. Our front length is not known. And that is the main purpose of this tutorial. So, this is how you go about it. When you have other lines and you don't have your front length, I'll show you the tips and tricks. So now, we have a bust 38. We want to uh, impute the um the round measurement calculation but 38 we are going to divide by four now so in case you don't have a calculator if this is 38 in my tape you can see how i folded it half is 19. you pick this 19 again and take it your tape right here once again and you have nine and a half so on the chest line, I'm going to mark my nine and a half. From the center line, I'll mark my nine and a half. Now, this nine and a half will help us to do what? It will help us to uh, complete our arm hole. So I place my ruler to touch here and anywhere on this line. Okay. All right. So this is boss points. This is under bust point. Our front length, we don't know our front length. So to determine your front length, simply go to your under bust and measure three inches. And this works perfectly for every, almost everybody, even people on the plus size, it works three inches, works perfectly. So for the plus size, you can just do 3.5 or four inches at most. Okay, but three inches is even ideal. Sometimes most plus sizes have shorter, you know, their under bust line is shorter. Okay, because of the uh, plus size bust. So three inches works perfectly. Okay, just give it a try and tell us uh, how it worked on the comment section. So now this becomes the front length or the waistline which we are looking for. Or the half uh, line. So on this waistline right now, we have um, our waist circumference as um, the waist circumference is 33. Okay, of course, the under bust circumference is what I have, but now we don't have waist circumference. So many at times, what you have on the under bust and the waist is the same on the true way because they are very close. They are the same. So the waist circumference I'm working with is 33 inches. I'm going to also divide 33. I'm dividing 33. Or what I will advise is to add one inch. Okay. So if you have 33 as under bust and you don't have waist circumference, simply do 
add one inch to whatever you have on the underboard. So we are working with 34 for the waist. So 34 divided by 2 will give us 17. 17 divided by another 2 will give us 8 and half. So on the waist, I'm going to measure from the center front 8.5. So this is my 8.5, including the dart of one and half. One and half will give me 10 inches. So I'm going to connect now. Now we are going to build our dart. So from the center front line, the bust to bust measurement is eight, which is nipple to nipple. I'll come down on the waistline. I'll also impute half of nipple to nipple, which is four. So here I'm going to connect what I have here all the way to the bust line. Okay. So once that is connected, to determine your back length, we have our front length which we added three inches. So this is what it means now. Okay, from the center, from the shoulder now to the half length is now seven point five. Can you see seven point five? Because we have the under bust point um, and we added three inches to come to uh, to achieve our half length. All right, so we'll go over to the back before we come to the bust point, uh, uh, to the darts, okay? Because we need the dart for our, we need the back for our dart. So for the darts, I'm going to, for the back, I'm going to extend my back. I'm extending my back line. Okay. And then I will make my one, one inch um, I'm going to make my one one inch for my zipper or my border line. Now we have 17 and a half as our front length. Simply remove two inches to get your back length, and this works perfectly. It works perfectly for medium sizes. Okay. For medium sizes, I will not recommend this for that's medium bust size. Size, I will not recommend this for uh, someone who is um, on the plus size. Okay, sometimes on the plus size we have three inches, four inches difference between front and back. So if you are making a medium size, just.